Hey y'all, hey. All right, it is project day. We are going to take some things apart and put it back together as something else because why not? Um, so what what has happened was I have a couple, a few, a lot <laughs> of these traveler's notebooks um, that are from um, either Hobby Lobby or Michael's from like years ago. And so, yeah, they're just your typical traveler's notebook. But what's going to happen is we're going to take this little gem right here and we are going to turn it into rings. So luckily the strap that goes around is separate from the uh, elastics that hold the uh, the traveler's notebooks in. So I love these because they've got all the pockets, right? They got a pen loop, the pocket in the back. And so it really honestly was so easy to take the elastic out, measure this, put it in, and then, you know, granted it's, like an odd size for, um, like it's not like a, oh, this is an A5 or A6 or, you know, B whatever. Uh, so I did have to like trim paper to fit. You can also, um, you could also like take the inserts out of here, which is what I'm going to do here, but take the inserts out. Um, I did keep these cover, the covers from the inserts, but you could take the papers out of here cut them you'd still have to trim them though because the rings make it stick out a little bit more than the elastics do so um we can look at all that but yeah just added some scrapbook paper lined paper journal cards in here and um some grid paper vellum because why not and i had so i had this pocket right so it's like a business cards on this side and a bigger pocket here and then a zip pocket. It is actually supposed to go around uh, a notebook insert and I just cut it <laughs> and punched holes in it. And here we are. So that's the project for the day. So I'm gonna put this little gem to the side here and we're gonna take this one. So things that you'll need is a traveler's notebook that you're willing to part with. Uh, I mean, I guess, I mean, to be fair, so let's look at this one. To be fair, these holes are still here that the um, elastics were going through. So if you ever were like, I want my TN back, then you can just take this out, take the binder mechanism out and restring it and then be good to go. So, um, yeah, so you will need your traveler's notebook and man, this one's so cute. I had this set up for work. Um, and it looked like, and I just like decorated it and it was so cute. This is an actual like traveler's company monthly insert that I didn't use. So <laughs> anyway, uh, here's that, uh, Here's that wrap around pocket I was talking about. So anyway, we're gonna take all this jazz out right now. Other things you'll need, uh, a nail and a hammer uh, or an owl, an A-W-L owl uh, and a hammer, um, some scissors possibly. And you'll need the binder mechanism. I do have rose gold. They have, I will link these, um, I'll link these below. They have, got it off Amazon, right? Like it's super cheap. Um, and then it comes with the uh, screws to put it all together. And you also need a Sharpie to mark the holes. So we will, I'm going to pull the stuff out. I kept this in there because I just, I don't know, it's Japanese writing. And I, I thought it was so cute. And I have a Lucky Brand obsession. So I love their tags and their clothes. <laughs> okay. So... There's one, two, and these are on the same elastic right here. Okay, so now I've got it all emptied. The good thing is, the awesome thing is, the elastic that goes around the whole thing is separate from the one that you cut. So, like, 
I don't know. So it's really good. So you don't even have to mess with that. And then um, we just got to pull this out. Undo, undo it. You can undo it. Put your back into it. No, just me. Okay. All right. So um, just got to take all this out. This elastic is still good. Like, I don't know how old it is. Uh, but it does. Oh, Paper Studio. So this must have been Hobby Lobby. Um, but yeah, so I kept the elastic from the other one that I made because we can always, uh, always use elastics, right? Am I right? Am I right? Okay. Let's put this guy off to the side. So now, um, I am going to go ahead and tighten, tighten, tighten this knot because it is, it's going to lay under here does create a little bit of a bump on the outside of the cover but that's why I'm tightening it to make it as small as possible so it can lay under here and uh yeah 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 okay so what we're gonna do because I have a black sharpie don't ask oh here it is <laughs> um I have a black sharpie that might be easier to see on the look how pretty it is okay i digress i might actually take this out and make things a little bit easier for myself all right just so it lays as flat as possible i might pull this back to me a little bit it might go out of frame but i just want to be able to see specifically exactly <laughs> Um, so the good thing is you can line these up so I can see a little bit of that hole and that hole where the elastics came through. So I know that I am lining it up evenly if I do that. And then this just fits perfectly over the length of this. I forget what size these are. I don't think they're A5s, but they might be A5s. And I can't open my Sharpie. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to hold this real still. Sorry if you can see my head. And so then I literally am just putting a dot right here. Thankfully, it is on the pink flower uh, for both of these. So now I have, um, I have this dot here. It kind of ran into the thing. And then I've got this dot here. And... So now what's gonna happen, I am going to, this is how I'm gonna do it because I'm classy like that. I'm just gonna punch a hole with this nail and then I'll show, <laughs> show you how to make the holes. It's a little bit bigger because the holes have to be big enough for, uh, for these guys to slide through there. So we just, we gotta work them a little bit. So give me a half a second. Um, while I'm down here off camera, I will let you look at my cute little pictures. Yay, have fun. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I do, whenever I am hammering through things, I do it on the carpet. I have a rug in here. Let's do it on the carpet. So don't tear up my table and I don't um, tear up the floors. So, again, classy. Class, class, class. All right, so I will take this. The good thing is with these, now y'all would have to tell me, like if you've ever done this before or if you try this with something, these are obviously like the fake leather the plastic basically so I feel like um I feel like the holes may be easier to punch through I don't know how it is to work with real leather again I'm classy like that I could have tried maybe I could have tried an actual hole punch but I feel like I feel like a that hole would be too big and b uh, I don't know if I'm strong enough. <laughs> okay, so got this. Now, the reason that I can make a mess of this is because it's going to be covered up, right? Like, this will cover up any any mess that happens on the inside. And these will cover up any mess that happens on the outside because this is the next step. I take my pencil again. I told y'all I was classy. And I'm actually going to shove it through here to kind of widen the hole a little bit. 
um, so that, so that I can get my scissors in there to just make a couple cuts. Make a couple cuts. Yeah. Okay, and then, so I like to use like pointy, pointy scissors rather than like the bigger ones. Kind of help. So I just make a, we'll call it a vertical cut. Tiny, like snippage. Like a tiny little snippage. Snippy snip right here and just just something that will give me oh I gotta go through all the layers here hold on oh there we go give me a little bit more room to work with to wiggle that uh, to wiggle the um, the little screw in for the binding mechanism and this does take some work also, since I have maybe at least one more of these I want to do, if y'all have an easier way or better idea, you let me know. <laughs> so there is the screw side. It's just a flathead. And then the, the part that it goes into. So this flat part goes on the outside. The outside of your, uh, of your cover here. This did take me a little bit. Oh man, it was so beautifully easy <laughs> on that one. All right, let's see how the other one goes. Look, all right, so you're just gonna push it here and guide it through and hope and pray. <gasps> My goodness gracious. Okay, so now we've got those. Y'all, this could not be like any easier. And then this just sits right on there. And I don't have <sighs> super prepared. If I were better prepared, I would have a flathead screwdriver. <gasps> Which, did I keep it in here? <gasps> oh, I might have kept it in here. <laughs> it's the tiny world's tiniest one. A bigger one would be better because that slot's pretty big. But yes, it said slot. Okay. But I was using also. <clears throat> oh, Lord. Sometimes you got to get, you got to get creative. You know what I mean? Okay. So now, so now what I'm going to do, this is the little container that I keep. I keep my nail in here and a safety pin I used at one point. No, I don't remember why. <gasps> okay, so then here, you're just going to, this part's kind of hard for me because the little screw is not specifically very long. Um, so we'll see if this, if I can do it with just this little screwdriver. I don't know how much it's gonna get me. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that there because I'm gonna have to pick it up here in a second. Hopefully y'all can see this one. I don't know where my, my visual is. Here, yeah, we got it, okay. All right, that actually worked really well. Okay, so now I'm going to pick it up so that I can hold this back piece. It doesn't tend to move, but just like while I'm really tightening it down, I want to I wanna hold the, the back here. So, y'all, that's it. She's all done, and she is so pretty. <laughs> She's so pretty. Okay, so what I'm probably gonna do is do um, fill her up and then um, I'll just do like a, a little short uh, video to post on here so you can see. Um, but that's it, except for the fact I'm so fun. Okay, <laughs> I was supposed to put this back in here. Let's do that. <gasps> I'm gonna do that and uh, and then we'll see it on the short. So. All right, hey, you know what? Things are always fixable. Okay, that's my that's my thing. Even if I screw it up, right? Like I just have to undo these. Let's do it. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Um, because, so like, ah, you know, you do stuff. Like I was, I did my plan with me yesterday. And because the months are switching, I was switching pen colors. And then like I forgot to like switch pen colors. And I was like, nah. <laughs> and uh, anyway, but I was able to fix.
fix it. You just put a box sticker over the wrong pen color and right over it and you're good to go. I always feel like if you think hard enough or you're like, you know, crafty, crazy, crazy, uh, creative enough, then there's always, always a way to fix something. And luckily because, because this takes like no time to put together, like I wasn't like, oh God, I know, I had to, I know. And then it just, it comes together and we're gonna fix it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. <laughs> That's fun. Um, it's fun. We're fun. Okay. So now, now, once we put it back together, if I can get these tiny screws to cooperate, they are actually really easy, y'all. Um, to to you to do this like I just can't I did a little one I posted a video on just a flip through of a tiny little pocket or a passport sized one that a uh, traveler's notebook that I changed into um into a ring binder um but yeah so now boom we're ready to rock and so now it'll keep it closed you've got room to grow can do our binder close her up she's so pretty all right so i'll do a little uh youtube short after i fill her up thanks so much for watching y'all let me know if you have any questions um if you have any tips like th ways that i can poke make the holes better um other thoughts on my random craziness all right we'll see you next time bye